In this video I will show you the new features of the ColorShift DCTL pack and compare it to DaVinci's Color Slice. The main update in the new version is the ability to select between single, double and triple DCTLs. The single DCTLs feature one slider per U, double DCTLs have two sliders per U and triple DCTLs have three. All DCTLs come in two versions, T which stands for Tetra and a version without the T. The non-T versions use different color models such as cylindrical and spherical. It's important to understand that neither model is superior. The choice between Tetra or non-Tetra often comes down to personal preference. Additionally, similar to Color Slice, the non-T version includes sliders to adjust skin tones. Now I'd like to compare some features of Color Slice with DCTLs, starting with the interface design. Consider a project where in this node the icon indicates that adjustments have been made with Color Slice. How quickly can you identify the specific adjustments? We made two changes, first a U-shift and second an adjustment to the green density. To me the Color Slice interface appears overloaded, making it hard to see the changes we've made. In contrast, using these details with its slider design provides more straightforward visual feedback, allowing us to immediately see what changes have been made. When comparing Color Slice with Color Shift, I found that increasing the red saturation with Color Slice can quickly reduce detail. This might be because it uses a spherical color model, which is different from the HSV model in Color Shift. Each model has its strengths for different tasks. It's good to try both to see what works best with your footage. Now I want to talk about the skin tone slider. Initially, it seems beneficial to have a slider dedicated to adjusting only the skin tone. However, in the test image here, we can see that the fall off towards red is quite steep, which become problematic when using the tool for look development. In comparison, I decided to leave the roll off at 60 degrees in my color shift detail. So here are some real world footage examples. In the last note I apply my balance detail and we can see that our skin lines up with the skin tone line, but parts of the face shift more towards green or magenta. And this is totally normal and fine. So when we now try to use color slice to add more saturation to our skin, we see that it causes artifacts where the skin tone shifts more towards red. If I reduce the saturation for red, I can make it more visible. And in comparison, here's the skin tone adjustment using the skin tone slider in my DCTL. The fall off in the DCTL is much broader, which leads to more pleasing results when we just use the skin tone slider. And here another example, when I apply the balance detail, we can see that parts of the skin shifts more towards magenta, which might be the intended look. Now when I increase the saturation for the skin in color slice, we see that it is problematic. For comparison, here's the skin tone adjustment with the DCTL. Here's the color slice version and here's the DCTL. I also integrated a range slider for every U. In this example, I increase the saturation for yellow and can widen the range to 100 or lower the U range to 20. Another feature of the DCTL is a deep slider. When we look at the highlights in the image here, increasing the deep slider makes the highlights less affected by the saturation adjustments. Here's another example. I can increase the saturation for yellow and if I notice that my skin is also affected, the range slider allows me to adjust the width of my selected U.
Another difference between color slice and color shift is the behavior of the density slider. When you use the density slider to brighten up the skin in color slice, you need to be aware that brightening a U also increases its saturation. In contrast, when using the density slider of the non-T details in color shift, these sliders do not add more saturation to the U. I prefer using color shift for look development, placing it right before converting from a large color space to something like Rec. 709 for display. You can either use a triple detail or a few separate DZTLs. I suggest starting with density, then saturation and finish with U adjustments. That's it, you find more information on my website. The best way to decide is to try the tools for yourself. You can find a free demo version on my website and if you have any questions or want to discuss it further, please leave a comment below or email me. Have a nice day and see you next time.